Hello, and welcome to the second video of our SXA multi-site implementation training series. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to create a page layout or a master page that all my pages will then use. So my page layout, or ultimately how my pages are going to be laid out, are as follows. We have a main container that has an image as a background and then a breadcrumb on top of that, and then a div container that's wide background, that has a wide background. Let's see how this is done in the demo. So I'll open up my site core environment. And as always, I just cloned, uh, I created a new module called page layout and I cloned it from the page content. Then I created a rendering variant here. So my rendering variant has an inner page, which is ultimately just uh, my background image. So I have style background image URL and then it reads the background image from my data source, which is the actual page itself. And then I have content HG page row container, and within that container is my breadcrumb. Because I'm using SXA 1.8, I'm able to add component within my rendering variant. And then I have my white background div with the placeholder. Now that I've created this layout, what I need to do is actually create a partial design that will have that layout. So what I've done here is, I went into partial designs, I created a folder called master page, and then within that I created a partial design called layout. Now, if we open that in experience editor, you're going to see that it only has one item, which is the page layout with the variant page layout, and I can even show it to you from my presentation details. So, it's all it's doing is just hosting that page layout uh, component that I just created. Now, once I've done that, all I need to do then is with every type of page I create, we're just gonna inherit or have its base partial design as that layout partial design. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to create a master page or a layout that all your pages will then use. Now, in real case scenarios, you might have multiple la layouts, like you might have a home page layout and then a normal layout and then this thing with navigation layout. We're gonna see how we can mix and match with the, between these. And we're gonna also see how we can actually clone rendering variants so that, for example, listing with navigation layout might have the exact same structure as my layout page, but with more information. In that scenario, I can just clone my rendering variant for this layout and then edit whichever parts I want to override in that new one. Thank you for watching the second video in our training series.